How do you contact me? How do you ask a question? How to request buying advice? These questions and more were long overdue to be answered, so let's do that now. I'm a one-man band on a one-trick pony. No Sancho Pancha though, I'm not illiterate and no Don Quixote either. I don't fight people with windmills driven audio, I fight misconception with journalistic research and sharing the information gained. That takes time and to do research and produce a video every week is a full time job. And time is scarce. Luckily I have some assistance helping me to moderate incoming messages on all web activities. So you will only reach me if you manage to navigate through this firewall. I'll explain. If you have a technical question, the only way to post it is using YouTube, preferably in the comments of a related video. Think about the question and how to pose it in as little words as possible. I take every opportunity to answer questions, which means that I might use a computer, tablet or smartphone and might be in a public place or even in a very private space, which is safe for there are no smeller phones yet. Reading long pieces of text there is often not going to work, so I skip that question for when I'm in a more convenient environment. In practice this means that it ends up in a stack of unanswered questions that when the stack piles up too high, they will be deleted. Asking questions any other way will not reach me and thus will never be answered. Not because I don't want to, but just to keep it manageable. And questions I reply to on YouTube might be of use to other viewers, which would not be the case with a one-to-one -one correspondence. I am asked for buying advice quite frequently, something I can't do for a number of reasons. First, I don't know your preferences and these need to be taken into account. I have experienced that most people can't describe their preferences very well, which is quite understandable, but finding those out alone takes several emails or DMs. Second, I don't know your environment, your room, your equipment and so on. Third, I lack the time to figure that all out. Therefore, I use the three reference sets. They give you a clue about the quality of the device on the test. By the way, I don't just review any product. I carefully pre-select equipment based on information from dealers and hi-fi enthusiasts I know, from experience I have with brands and so on. There is no point in spending production time on products you should not buy. And again, I have to be very economical with my time. For those that think the interweb is a place to misbehave, I have two solutions. The first time your friendly response is erased and the next time means excommunication. I don't want you, my real viewers, to plough through loads of unfriendly junk. The same goes for people that apparently didn't view the video but just respond on the title of the video. People that can't believe that better audio equipment sounds better is another category to get this treatment. Like the Bits are Bits Brigade. There are several videos on my channel to explain why there are clearly audible differences between equipment at different price classes and what can go wrong with Bits. My YouTube channel is not a forum. If you want to discuss your experiences, your stereo setup, your special tweaks and the like, go to a forum on the subject. If you are a manufacturer of kind and want to promote your products, think again. Not only is a message erased automatically, your chance of getting a review is clearly diminished. I need to keep the channel trustworthy. I have invested years of no to low pay labour in this channel and I will not have it misused by people that want a piggyback ride to success. 
Negative experiences with products I review will be scrutinized and in most cases erased since I notice my channel is also used by people that want to damage a product or brand for personal or business reasons. In some cases the manufacturer will be noticed. Support should be provided by your dealer or manufacturer. It is very easy to spend countless hours on support questions. Again, I lack the time and often the specific knowledge to solve those problems. Support is best done by people that are specialized in a limited number of products like manufacturer support group, wiki or forum. Again, these questions will be removed to avoid that my viewers have to dig through piles of irrelevant postings. Please don't take it personal. I try to build a clean and easy accessible information channel. If you are a manufacturer or distributor and want to see contact with me, please only use the contact page on the hbproject.com. You will be answered promptly. And if you are a private person, don't use this space. Your message will be blocked for reasons I explained earlier. Use the comments below the videos in YouTube and there you might get an answer. Please forgive me for being strict, but five years of running a YouTube channel has learnt me how to survive. The goal of the approach described in this video is to offer you an uncluttered access to information on audio, especially digital audio, file based audio and networked audio. Please do ask me questions, but only on the YouTube channel and no buying or support questions. Proper questions I will read and when possible answer. That answer might come in the form of a direct response, but if a longer answer is needed and I appreciate the general importance, it might also be a video. Given the planning and production time of a video, that answer might come weeks later. That's it for this week. There will be another video next Friday as always at 5 pm Central Eu European time if I manage. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel or follow me on the social media so you will be warned when new videos are out. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Many thanks to all that support this channel financially, it keeps me independent and thus trustworthy. If you also feel like supporting my work, the links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.